Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video for you. Um, this video, or this painting that I did um, a couple videos ago, uh, it, it turned out uh, really nice, but I, I not as quite as dark as what I wanted it to be, especially around, around the edges here. So I wanted to do a quick glaze, but I wanted to walk you through, in case you haven't seen some of my other glazing tutorials, on, on things on how to, how to do this. So one of the first things you want to do is use a transparent paint. So I'm going to be using um, raw umber and some, and some sap green. I'm going to mix those together. Now how you ask, how do you know that if your paint is transparent? Well on the back, you're going to see a little box. Usually it's a little box. Uh, maybe it's halfway filled in or maybe it's completely filled in. This one is obviously empty. That means it's transparent. So the, if you can use transparent paint, that's optimal. You don't have to use transparent paint because you're going to thin it down with your medium. Now that you can use linseed oil, you can use odorless mineral spirits, you can use liquid. I'm using liquid today. And what you do is you thin it down to a really, really, really thin thin consistency and then you just put it on and then you just you just take a paper towel and and wipe off what you don't want if you want it thicker in some places then you just just leave it on there a little bit thicker if you need to blend it out a little bit more, you blend it out a little bit more. And you just do that wherever you need it. This is just, I'm just putting a, uh, just a one coat. Uh, I'm not trying to add a bunch of color to it. I'm just trying to darken it up. And that's something else with, uh, with glazing. Every coat you put on uh, your painting, it, your painting's gonna get a little bit darker. Uh, and it's just uh, if you, those of you who are familiar with digital uh, digital arts, um, how you use a multiply layer is something similar to this. It just keeps adding to the amount of uh, it restricts the amount of light that's going to get through to the canvas and the and the bottom layer. So it just makes things get darker and darker. I'm even going over the, the darker areas that I have, making sure that my paint stays nice and thin. I want this, this is going to be, it's going to also unify any, uh, if you have any temperature uh, variances, this will help fix that. In other words, if you use a cooler paint, if you use in a, in a bunch of warmer paint and your, and your whole painting looks a little bit off, uh, because of the color temperatures of, of what you've got going on, uh, glazing like this will also help fix that. I'm just blending really lightly, especially on the edges. The other stuff I can just get a little bit more aggressive with it if I want to. I'm also I'm staying away from the lightest areas because I want that to remain uh, to remain dark. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, to remain light, so I get a nice contrast. So the, the, the windows there and the, and the reflection and the moonlight up above. I want to make sure that those stay uh, nice and light. And then once you get this in, if you're not happy with it and you want to add some more, you can go back in and you can add some more. It's just the beauty of, of how this works. See, and this works out for me too because this green that was on there was a little bit too saturated for me. So the the raw umber is going to help it's going to help tone that down just a little bit.
I'm just going lightly over this. So this is just a quick, quick tutorial, just a, in case you've never seen this done. Sometimes it's, sometimes we go over this stuff kind of quick and uh, there's some assumptions that are made. Um, and I don't like to do that. I don't like to do assumptions. I like to, I don't like to assume that you you guys have any kind of a knowledge because I could be going over something that could be valuable to someone else. And feel free to get a bit darker, uh, less diluted as you get to the as you get to the edges. Because, like I said, we just blend it out. Just blend out what you don't need. Essentially what you're doing is you're staining the underlying paint or uh, canvas. And on these master studies, if you want the brush strokes to remain, you can. Um, or even of course, not just these master studies, it's your own style. I mean, maybe you like that little rough brush stroke in your work. And if you do, that's no, no, no problem with that. Staying away from that highlight area, just blending, softening those, just blending it right out. And you can see how it really illuminates some of those spots. See, I've got some stuff on my towel too. You can just use that to just kind of smear things around. There, now it feels like this is a lot more illuminated here because we darken all this stuff here. You really need that, that darkness in order to show the light. We've heard it many, many times and it's oh so true. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this uh, quick little video and come join me again and I will see you soon.